Technology is a skill that can easily be learned, but the mindset that you get from a classical education is something that grows with you. It is not learned as easily as, you know, understanding how to, to utilize a computer or software program. You can't have science without art. So you can't go into the sciences and the discovery of new things, the discovery of new technology, the discovery of, of man, discovery of, of all of these different areas without having that background in that liberal arts type of education that classical education can give you. I was classically educated all the way through till I graduated from Highlands Latin School, the model school for Memorial Press in 2016. Uh, and then I went on to Western Kentucky University I completed two degrees there, one in economics and one in data analytics. For me personally, like classical education kind of came as a challenge to a challenge with having dyslexia and, and dysgraphia, like reading does not come naturally. First eight years or so of school, I'd, I'd go to school and then I'd come home and my mom and I would sit down on the dining room table and we'd go over it again. I think I, I struggled a lot going through HLS and kind of the Memorial Press curriculum with why am I learning about Caesar again? Like why am I looking at another Gallic War? And why did I memorize 70 stanzas of a poem? Um, and then like within the first week or two of, of being at Western Kentucky University, it just kind of hit me that the way that I approached things, the way that I was able to, to write essays, um, the way that I was able to just converse with, with peers around me was just in a different category. Within my first English class, the very first essay that I ever did, I got 100% on it. And then the professor literally said, okay, everyone goes to the writing tutor, except for Abigail McGraw. And that was like the biggest moment for me. I was like, wow, I got to actually understand my skills that I had learned from HLS instead of just comparing myself to my peers. Data analytics is part of the, the STEM field, so it falls underneath the technology aspect. Logic is the base foundation for everything. Um, so like the if-then statements that we wrote in like Mr. Harwood's like eighth grade like logic class or our metaphysics classes, like all of those are things that I use practically every day, if not every hour throughout my job. There are a lot of challenges that you run into where like communication between systems is something that doesn't necessarily always take place easily. And so you have to be able to build those bridges in between different data sources. A lot of the times like we get into a problem and it feels like you've hit a massive brick wall and you're just like, okay, well, how, how do I get over this? How do I understand like, you know, what to get on the other side? It kind of feels like taking like Henley Latin. Uh, for me, like that was just brick wall after brick wall after brick wall. Um, so I feel like that kind of chained me up to be able to, to be more positive in how it is that I approach challenges. I think Latin kind of actually prepared me to address things that I hadn't done before. Um, and just kind of helped me learn that, okay, yeah, I've, I've never translated, you know, this book of the Bible before, but like I can figure it out and I've been able to kind of apply the same thing to my job today in terms of just find a way to figure it out. I think that it's important to note that there's always an easy path and the easy path is kind of just, you know, do what everyone else is doing. You know, you, you move to the house that has the good school systems to get your kids into the, the good, good school systems. Like that's the easy part. The hard part is taking the time to, to find what is going to be best for your child. Um, and I really do think that a classical education, I think that it, it, it creates a more well-rounded individual. Um, just from the moment that they get into it, whether they get into it at you know first grade or whether they, they start in, in middle school or high school or whatever that date may be, like from the moment you get into classical education, you start to round out better as a person. You start to get better perspectives, better exposure. You're, you're taught different areas that you know, you're not going to run into inside other types of school systems. Um, and so I think that the classical education, while it may come with, you know, maybe a little bit of a more difficult uh, sacrifices that need to be made. I mean, I know my family made plenty of sacrifices to make sure that my whole family went through, all, all my siblings and I went through, through Highlands Latin School. Uh, but I think that it's made us better for who we are today. Because uh, it, it really does, it just, it helps you be a more well-rounded individual.